new band of rebels arose who were determined to carry the fight to Jerusalem. The Sicarii. To the Sicarii. Anyone who wasn't fighting the Romans was a collaborator and worthy of death. Many were slain every day, and the fear they put in is worse than the calamity itself. Look at history, man. And he said that, look, I'm going to set up that faggot uh, Alexander the Great, the uh, son of Philip, the Macedonians, and he's going to go out and he's going to conquer uh, uh, the Persian Empire, man, who was just like in America today. It was foolish to think to go up against the uh, Persian Empire. But guess what? The Bible, in the, in, in the book of Daniel, it speaks multiple times of Greece conquering Persia, man. You know what I'm saying? There's many different things, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said he was going to drown the pharaohs of, of the pharaoh of Egypt at the time that had our people in slavery. And guess what? He did it, man. You know what I'm saying? So there's things that have been, that already have come to pass. There's things that are going to come to pass very soon. And he's not going to change it and he's not going to go back on it, man. Which makes him an upstanding man because he's the ultimate man upstairs. Go ahead. This is the book of Maccabees, the first. Right, so we're going to give you history, man, and show you in the scriptures that God didn't go back on his words. Actually, you know what? Hold that. Get Daniel's the seventh chapter. Actually, you know what? No, my, my man, Daniel's eighth chapter, where it talks about the, uh, the goat uh, overpassing Persia, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord, man, hey, the Lord, whatever is said in this word, man, you can't go back on it. And the, hey, it's crazy because they had, when this country was founded, they established the Bible Destruction Code back in 1776, man, to come up and destroy the word of the Heavenly Father. Why? Because they know that the word is true and you cannot, uh, you cannot go against it. So they try to take out all the books. They took out 14 books, uh, which you call the Apocrypha now, out of the original 1611. And, and what did they do? What did they do? They took it out. But one thing, but one thing that we do know, though, is that we have the we have all the books of the Bible to teach you, your Negroes, your Hispanics, you natives, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord's word was not—he wasn't going to go back on his word and say, "Oh, I'm going to have my word destroyed." You know what I'm saying? So our people would never know who they are. They're just going to be in slavery forever or exterminated by these damn white peoples. You know what I'm saying? He's going to stay. He's going to stay firm to his word, man. Actually, yeah, go start at verse, uh, it's lucky. Start at verse, I believe it's verse three or four. Yeah, start at verse three. This is the book of Daniel, chapter eight, verse three. Then I lifted up mine eyes and saw, and behold, there stood before the river of the river a ram, which had two horns. Right, this river that had them two horns, this ram that had two horns was the Medes in the Persian Empire, man. You know what I'm saying? Medes of the Persian Empire. At one point, the actually, he's going to tell you. Go ahead. And the two horns, I'm sorry, it's a lot. Then I lifted up my eyes and saw, and behold, there stood before the river a ram, which had two horns, and the two horns were high, but one was higher than the other. But one, one was higher than the other. Right, and one was higher than the other. So this ram had two horns, and one was higher than the other. What is that speaking of? And what, and what, and what, was, and what is that really speaking of? That's speaking of one horn getting higher. One rulership, because when you deal with the word horn, it can also metaphorically speak of power and rulership. You know what I'm saying? The Medes and Persians, you know what I'm saying? They were high and mighty in power at, at that point in time during the fourth the fourth and uh third the fourth and third century actually the fourth century but what happened one got up higher the the persians got over the beats man and you can look at this in history man this is recorded this is documented man but it's spoken prophetically in the scriptures you know what i'm saying Thousands, uh, hundreds of years before it happened man proving to what that god cannot go back on his word man and the higher came up last 
fight, the higher came up last. Speaking of Persian, yeah. Actually, that, that little, that, speaking of the Persian Empire, man. So go ahead. I saw the ram pushing westward and northward and southward so that no beasts might stand before him. Right, so no beasts could stand before the Persian Empire, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? When you look at w what the Persians was doing during that time, they was conquering everything. Nobody could, nobody could stop them, man. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? The Lord, word of the Lord said that a nation, speaking of you so-called white peoples, you so-called Edomite, you Edomites, all right, would go and conquer them and, and overtake them and pollute the earth, man. Ever since, ever since uh, Alexander established his nation in Greece, man. Go ahead. Neither was there any that could deliver out of his hand, uh -huh. but he did according to his will. Right, he did according to his will, go ahead. And became great. And as I was considering, behold, an he go came from the west. Right, a he go came from a west. Came from the west, man. Who is this goat? It's talking about. It's, it's talking about Alexander, man. You know what I'm saying? Goat metaphorically represented uh, Greece, man. And in, in particular, the uh, the Macedonians who took over Greece, man. Because originally, the so-called Greeks were a dark-skinned nation, man. You know what I'm saying? Go back and who you know today as the Samoans, Tongans, and, and all them other islanders, man. Go ahead. So we're giving you an example of how the Lord, word of the Lord will, <coughs> will be established, and he won't go back on his word, and the word will manifest itself right before your eyes, man. And it's documented and it's recorded. Go ahead. On the whole face of the earth, and touch not the ground. And the goat had no, oh, I'm sorry. And the goat had notable horn between his eyes. Right, he had that notable horn between his eyes, go ahead. And he came to the ram that had two horns. Right, he came to the ram that had two horns. This is speaking of, uh, who you know as Alexander the Great, with the Greek, the Creek, you know, go ahead. Which I had seen standing before the river and ran unto him in the fury of his power. Right, and he, what did he do? He blew him away, man. Just like how cops just blow niggas away, the Lord allowed him to blow away Persia, man. Go ahead. And I saw him come close unto the ram, and he was moved with the claw against him, and smote the ram, and brake his two horns. And there was no power in the ram to stand before him. Go ahead, keep reading. But he cast him down to the ground, and stepped upon him, and there was none that could deliver the ram out of his hand. Therefore the he goat waxed very great, and when he was strong, the great horn was broken. Right, the great horn was broken. How was he broken? Because of his debauchery. I mean, so you, hey, we all know that uh, Alexander was a so-called white man, an Edomite. Hey, a lot of these white people be dying so quickly because they be doing, they be doing all men as a wicked act, man. Behind the darks, behind the scenes, man. You know what I'm saying? And if, hey, the scriptures tell you that this is a vile, violent and a vile nation, man. You did what I'm saying? Go ahead. And for it came up four notable ones toward the four winds of heaven. Right, so four notable ones came up throughout the four, four corners of the heavens, man, at the time. Talking about his four generals, man. Give me, go ahead and go into uh, First Maccabees, man. So so this was a prophecy. Guess what it's going to, in, 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 in the book of the Maccabees, first and second Maccabees, this is the fulfillment of this prophecy. Go ahead, start at the first verse. This is the first book of Maccabees, chapter one, verse one. And it happened after that Alexander, son of Philip the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Chittim, had smitten Darius, king of the Persians and Midians. Right, he's smitten Darius the third, man. King of the Persians and Midians, man. You know what I'm saying, king of Persia. Just like it was, just, hey, didn't we just read that? We read, we read that in Daniel's eighth chapter. This is the fulfillment of of it in first Maccabees, the first chapter. Proving what? That the word of the Lord will not go back void, man. He will not go back upon his word, man. He's not, he's just not gonna, he's just not going to, man. He's not gonna do it for your, for your appeasement or your feelings, man. He don't give a goddamn about your feelings. You know what I'm saying? And we're just using, we're just, this is just one of many things to prove that the Lord doesn't go back on his word, man. Go ahead. That he reigned in his stead the first over Greece, and made many wars, and won many strongholds. 
Right, he won many wars and he won many strongholds, right? Just like how he had his prophet Daniel. Because when, when you whenever you see the prophet of the Lord, like you see right now, throughout the four corners teaching his Bible, we're the prophets of the Lord. We're the mouthpiece of the Heavenly Father. Just like how Daniel, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, you know what I'm saying? All the prophets of the ancient world, man. Of the ancient times, man. You know what I'm saying? How they were prophesying and, and speaking of things before it happened, unctioned by the Heavenly Father, man. Go ahead. And slew the kings of the earth and went through to the ends of the earth. Hey, and this is funny, though. This is something that's recorded in history. Did not Alexander do that? Yes, he did. He slew everything in the earth. Just like how the white men is doing right now, trying to control and slay and murder everything in the earth and, and bring, it un bring every nation upon his, upon his feet, man, under his feet. Go ahead. And took spoils of many nations, insomuch that the earth was quiet before him. Right, the earth was quiet before him, man. You know what I'm saying? The earth was quiet before this damn man. It just like how, it, just like how the prophet Daniel said it. Just like, just like how the Lord told pro the prophet Daniel to say it, man. Go ahead. Whereupon he was exalted, and his heart was lifted up, and he gathered a mighty strong host and ruled over the countries and nations uh -huh. and kings who became tributaries unto him. And after these things he fell sick and perceived that he should die. Right. Didn't it say that he didn't it say in Daniel that he would he would be destroyed and broken? Huh. And guess what? He he fell what? He fell sick and perceived that he should die. He fell sick and then he perceived that he should die. Why? Because of his, of his homosexual debauchery, man. Huh. No different than the modern day white men, man. You know what I'm saying? Just like how the ancient white men, the ancient Macedonians, man. Go ahead. Wherefore, he called his servants, such as were honorable, and had been brought up with him from his youth, and parted his kingdom among them while he was yet alive. Right, speaking of the four generals, man. Just like we read in Daniel, the eight, four, eight, yeah, the four notable ones, man. You see how you see how the word, the word of the Lord doesn't come back void, and it just manifests just like that. Just like how America's destruction is gonna manifest just like that. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's what's about to happen. And you damn uh, foreigners, man, you better go back to your get damn goddamn countries, man. Unless you want to taste uh, thermonuclear destruction, that's gonna be sent by uh, Russia, Iran. Hell, that crazy ass Kim Jong Un, who's gonna press them damn butt. Hey man, I, I love, I, I love, I like that cat, man. Even though he's a damn heathen, I like what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, man, this this thing keeps conjuring up, man, more warfare, man. Cause that's the, what is that? That's the prophecies and the scriptures of the Lord coming to life right before your damn eyes, man. That's right. Go ahead. So Alexander reigned twelve years and then died. And his servants bear rule every one in his place. Right, his servants bear ru rule one in every place. Speaking of his four generals, man. You know what I'm saying? You can do the, you can do, the, do your own research on that. Go ahead. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them many years. And evils were multiplied in the earth. Evils were what? Multiplied in the earth. Right, evils were multiplied upon the face of the earth. Huh. Hey, so... After everything has been happened and established, going back to Daniel, the eighth chapter, the seventh chapter, the second chapter, all right? Hell, even the eleventh chapter, you know what I'm saying? Of the establishment of this white man's kingdom in power and rulership, the first kingdom in power and rulership that he had, evils were multiplied upon the earth. It's just like the, how the Bible says it, man. And we know that, like we said before, we know that Greece was run by white people. We know that Alexander was run, was, was a so-called white man, an Edomite, his father, Philip the, uh, King Philip the Macedonian the second identified himself as uh, a Temanite, which goes back to the Dukes of Edom, or goes back to one of the uh, main houses of Edom. Guess what? We can identify them people as the so-called white people. Why? Because they were, the white people say that oh, their, their first uh, the greatest civilization first came from Greece, which that's a damn lie. It proves that he's the wicked one and the devil that the Bible speaks of. No. Yeah, well, he's the worst of the heathen, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. And there came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus, surnamed Epiphanes. Right, Antiochus, surnamed Epiphanes, man. So, this is something that, this, 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 this is in the Holy Scriptures. This is in history, man. But, but you're tell, you, you telling us, though, that, that the Lord's word is going to come back void. The Lord is going to somehow 
take away his take away his word from the scriptures, man. And the things that's gonna happen in the scriptures is gonna be taken away, man. Hell out of here, man.